Oh, Miss Brady. Shannon Barber, who might have a new recruit? Oh, yes, oh. I actually do. Yay! Yay! Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. You're going to get an extra 30 days to qualify. She's warm in Georgia now. <laughs> Glad you're finally I'm... feeling better, honey. Yes, me too. Yep. Hold on. I'm going to tell her, Sarah, why, why don't you fall <laughs> in? Hi. There she is. <laughs> Shannon! I'm actually in bed right now, so. Uh, okay. I may or may not be too, so don't I'm say a word. Still, I'm sitting on the couch with a blanket on top of me. <laughs> not, I don't know. I don't I have a room one of my anywhere. hockey boys' rooms. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna. I just told her to try to call in instead. That might confuse her, though. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I have a said. baby in my office and people in my living room and a three-year-old in another room. So my bedroom was the only place. Well, there you go. That worked. <laughs> All right. Let's let's just go ahead and get started then. Thanks, Cal. All right. So. We don't need to make this long, but I wanted to, we wanted to get on tonight and talk a little bit about the incentive. Who got to see the video today? Hey, me. Me. Kelly Shamp? No, I have not. Shannon, you Wait a minute. The video, was that part of the email? Because when, when I went out to look it up on yeah. Explore, I didn't see a video. Okay. Well, do you guys want to watch I watched it about five seconds. Let's okay. play it. Let's play okay. it so we can get hyped up together. Okay, whoop, whoop. On here. let's do it thanks Kel. Hit it. i i think i think i can <laughs> i don't i mean i know how to do it but i don't know if i feel like every time i've tried to play a video it doesn't like oh buffers a little bit doesn't well, no, behave. No, it, it's you have to a, share um, your audio that's what it is thank yes, you jenny thank you. so do i just go on how do i do that jen um i think it's up at the top okay when it gives you the view options or whatever, but don't know for positive. I just know whenever I'm at school and they talk about it, that's what they say. Okay. However, your 2000 unread emails would drive me batshit crazy. <gasps> <laughs> I get you, my Kelly, mom nuts I get too. you. My kids can <laughs> oh my do the God. same thing, don't feel bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. I have 35 and it's driving me nuts. And that's oh, my no, personal, my work one has to be at zero. I don't have time for that. Okay, hold on here, so. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop share. Okay, so where do you think it is? It was at the top. I could see it actually on your screen. Uh, oh, but yeah, on. but the, it has to do with Zoom. See, oh, when you, oh, oh. I saw at the top view options. You are yeah, under yeah. I yep. think it's under view options. I don't have a view options. Yeah, you, you do. Right. If you go way up to the top, I think. Yeah, we could kind of see it when you're you move your mouse way up high higher. I don't know if you you higher. Uh -uh. No, that was weird. I could see it. Um, well, here, let's just see here when I try to play it. They really didn't talk. It was just music anyway. It's just mu That's true. It is just music. Okay. All right. Can you see it okay? Yeah. Yes. Can you hear it? No. No, but that's okay. It's just music. Wait, is that in English? English? Going to there we go. Shout it. That wasn't in the video. I think this is our, this isn't ours. Not us. This isn't our. I'm like, we're going. Yeah. Oh. This isn't even in English. Oh, we're going wrong to Texas. One. Am I on the wrong one? Wrong. Yeah. Yes. yes. Like, we oh, we I'm on the. I bet you I'm on the executive trip. Shoot. I thought oh. I clicked the right one. Okay. Yeah, well, I think you did the executive. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to go to Prague. Yes, you would. Okay. Where are the flipping? You're an exec. I know. I'm, okay. I'm losing it tonight, guys. Sorry. Hold on. Ah, no worries. He's just planning ahead. Don't worry about it. Here we go. Sounds good.
All right. All right. Woo. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Too great. Which one are you going to go for? I'm excited. Now i got to get my ass in gear. <laughs> so who wants what? Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yep, that was the trip I earned a couple years ago. Then they had to switch it to California. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Was that because of the hurricanes? Yeah, but then I wasn't, that was the year that my brother got married. And so then I was going to go to, we were going to go to um, Amelia Island. Amelia Island instead. But then the Amelia Island trip was the same weekend my brother got married. <laughs> I <laughs> I took the body that. Out. So that was like, I hey. remember that. Yeah. But what, you know, whatever, it was all good. It was nice to get some moolah, you know, so that's <laughs> one nice thing is you can always, that's the thing is if you don't want to travel, you can always take the buyout. So that's, you know, that's one of the perks of this, of this too. So seriously, does somebody really want to go on a trip next year? Absolutely. Yes, yeah, for sure. Okay. So how are you going to get there? Sell, recruit, and develop people. Mm -hmm. Those are the top ways. So absolutely, <laughs> you're going to get there faster when you recruit. That is going to be a big thing is if you can recruit and qualify. I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get out of the video now here. Stop. <laughs> um, okay, so it's the exact same requirements can you guys see my screen now yep yep looks good. Okay. Yep. the exact same requirements as last year 60,000 for level one 90,000 for level two and 150 for level two elite which gives you an extra day um I forgot to tell you too and honestly it's not listed anywhere under the incentive trips yet but I just found out on our director success page so the gel or the grapevine Texas trip I keep wanting to say Galveston the, gate, the grapevine trip is April 23rd through the 26th of 22. And the Puerto Rico is the 16th through the 21st or the 20th or the 21st, depending on if you get the extra day with a leave. Of April? Of May. Oh, so I'm sorry, what? May what? May 16th through the 21st or 22nd or the 20th or the 21st, I think it is. Got it. So they don't, I don't know why, but it's not listed there. So there's going to be five ways to earn the points. Same as always, a dollar point or a point for every dollar in commissionable sales. When you build your team and, they, and a person qualifies 3,000 points every time somebody qualifies. So that's huge. This was a huge help I know for me this year, meeting your paid as requirements. So it's kind of a big deal if you can get two people on your team and be a team leader and get paid at that level every single month. That's what we talk to my team about all the time is you want to be a team leader if you want to earn trips. Minimum team leader. That's right. going to give you an extra 500 points every single month on your trip tracker. And obviously it just goes up and up and up. So that is that, you know, that saved my butt this year um, because I ended up earning elite and never in a million years, especially when March or April hit, did I think that was even going to be possible at first. Um, promote to director, and you're going to get 5,000 points deposited into your account. 6,000 points for each new director on your personal team. But this is a little bit different. This is the same as it was last year. But in the past, it was different. You used to get 6,000 points automatically. Now you get 2,000 points when a consultant from your personal team meets the paid as requirement in, one, in the first month, then the second month, and the third month. So that's how you get the 6,000. But they don't ever get taken away from you. So that's the big deal about how they're doing these points now for developing directors. Nice. It's nice that they're not taking them away because didn't that no. hurt a couple of people in the past? That Yes, it's very, it can be crucial. Um, all right, let me see here. Okay, so then, so some facts about the trip are going to be here. And then this is your trip tracker. 
this is something I print off every year. It gets posted on my fridge. I get excited to color in each little dot or square or whatever they're doing for the year. So you can go ahead and print this off and get started. Now remember all of the points that you're earning this month will count towards the trip next year. Wait, what? Yep. So all of December gets counted again. So it's going to go on your trip tracker for next year. It goes huh. on this year's and next year's. Oh, that's awesome. It is awesome. Oops, okay, here we go. Somebody's coming back in. Um, so don't be a slacker this month. <laughs> don't. I know the cutoff <laughs> is this month, but we had um, our spotlight training this afternoon on the trip with Claudia Bazaar. And one of the things that Claudia said was, we are in a virtual business now. So why, you know, we used to be in that mindset of, okay, the cutoff was the 12th. I'm not doing any more cooking shows for the month after the 12th. That doesn't matter anymore. Right? right. So what, exactly. should, what, what is one thing we can do right now to still earn points for the trip? What, what, is, what is something that we can do in the next two weeks that could still get us some sales? He's got January parties on their calendar. Yep. Nope. Yes. Yeah, the people can be shopping now. So you need to get your hosts for January their links now. Mm -hmm. Get them catalogs, a couple catalogs, and their link to their party now. They're prop. Well, some people might see family over the holidays, but they can at least send out the link. So you can already get orders for your January parties. I've already had that happen a couple of times for a couple of girls. They're like, oh, I might as well shop now. Yep, you know, if they wanted to still get something again, they can, but we can still be doing that. So we don't have to have that mindset of, yes, I mean, we can still kind of relax a little bit for the next couple of weeks, but there's no reason in a virtual world that we still can't be collecting orders. And, you know, hopefully you're probably going to be cooking a lot the next couple of weeks, be taking pictures of everything you're doing and the tools you're using and posting them in your Facebook stories and your Instagram tagging, you know, tools, tagging people, you know, doing all that kind of stuff, all that social media stuff to keep everything um, energized. So um, one of the first things that I'm going to suggest for you to do too, is I want you to print off your prior year comparison. Does everybody know where to find that in their files? Shannon, do you and Samantha? I don't know. Okay, so here. I could probably find it. So if you're in, you're in your reports and tracking, you're gonna go to your consultant connection summary And when you get to this page, when it pops up here, right here. Okay. Okay. So click on that. And then another thing to do that I like to do, I do this actually the first of every month is performance details down here. Mm -hmm. I click on that and I print all my stats for the month because stuff like your show average that goes away after two months like you can't see it so there's no other place on our reports that we can find our monthly show average so I like to print these all and just keep them so I can kind of see how many orders I had per show or you know you know average orders and my show average and stuff so you I like to print this every single month I just have a little reminder in my phone set to print this on the first of the month um so cool. go through and did somebody want to say something? Hello? No, I think so. Okay. No, you're good. Okay. Agree. What the big thing that what you want to do with that is you want to look at what your show average is. Then what you want to do is whatever level trip you want to achieve, you need to take that and divide it by your show average. 
just to kind of give you an idea of how many just commissionable sales points. Hold on my, hold on just a second here. I thought my, it says, hold on just a second. I just got to plug my, I thought my computer was plugged in, but it must've came unplugged. Hold on. Oh, yep, it did. Mm -hmm. Here, I thought I was charging. There, now I'm plugged in. Um, so you can get a good idea then about how many shows you think you need to hold that way. Obviously too, look at things like how many recruits did you have this year? How many of them qualified? How many times were you paid at title if you're a team leader or above? And you can get kind of an average. The actual incentive tracker won't be available to us until February where we can start tracking points. But you'll always already kind of have a good idea of what your January is going to look like because you're going to get points from December as well. So I think that's super cool. So printing out those reports can be really crucial and can be really beneficial for you to try to figure out what you need to do. And, you know, honestly, to tell you the truth, if you can handle it and we're still kind of doing the virtual thing right now, I don't think very many of us are having a lot of cooking shows. There's probably some people that are, but not a ton. You want to just really think about, you know, how can you do four shows a week? Think about that. Can you do four shows a week, no matter what? And then try to recruit one person out of those four shows. You know, the, the every four add one more. You want to try to think that way. I mean, I want to have a minimum of 16 virtual parties on my calendar a month. That's always my goal. That's a great goal, Kelly. Well, that's, it, it's so easy now. I mean, it really is. If you can get the bookings, yep. it's yep. so easy to run four parties at once. If you're using a program like CentShare or something like that, it's very simple. Okay. So the other thing I think is really crucial, and this is something I started doing two years ago. I probably kind of did something, some kind of, but I definitely am more intentional about it now. Um, when I went through the LEAD program, they had us read this book. Um, John Maxwell's um, Infallible, I think it was a growth, I think it was, I can, I'll put it in the, I'll put it like, I'll give it to Lori and Jen for their team's pages. Thank you. Valuable growth or something like that. It was that one. But he had a chapter in that book where he talks about how he takes sometime during that last week between Christmas and New Year's and he does a year in review. So he literally opens his calendar and goes week by week and looks at everything that he did and makes decisions on, should I do that again? Should I not do that again? Did I, did I grow from this or did, I, did this add value to my business or to my life? Go through your entire calendar and find out what you think you need to do this year. Mm -hmm. And when I've started, when I started doing that a couple of years, I mean, I kind of was forced to do that a couple of years ago when I lost my husband, I had to kind of really strategically plan because I was instantly thrown into being the breadwinner of the family. And I needed to make goals that were going to benefit my paycheck. I mean, I did, I mean, plain and simple, um, so being really intentional with what I was going to spend my time on was very, very important. So that has been something. And I will also, I've got some information on that too, and like a couple of PDFs that I can send you on that. And Rachel Hollis also too has a podcast about that. Um, that I'll put the episode of that too. So if it's something you just want to listen to in your car or something, I loved the way she talked about it too. And John, she got that from John Maxwell as well. So it's, it's his complete concept. So just taking that and, you know, probably even before you do that, you probably really need to think about what your vision for the year is going to be. Um, and one of the things that kind of really hit home to me today when Claudia was talking is she talked about how Yes, you know, we've got to have kind of like our yearly goals. And a lot of us used to think in terms of monthly goals so much more for this business, but really 
She said that we need to really almost think about our goals on a weekly basis nowadays because of the virtual world. And I'm like, that is so true. How many shows do I want to have this week? And I feel like even booking virtual parties, you're not necessarily always booking them out months in advance. Like maybe you used to do for cooking shows or a month, you know, next, it would be, you know, I've got only two parties next week. So I'm going to give this person the 20th and the 27th which two of these Fridays do you want for me to book your party? So it's not always going to be, do you want to do a party in March when the catalog comes out? You're kind of living week to week. So I loved that she kind of validated that. And it's like, it's true. We need to probably have weekly goals now versus just monthly goals. So that's something to think about. Um, I think it's going to be a little hard this year. And she kind of said that too, because our year was weird this year. And, you know, some of us probably had months that were insane and you've never done anything like that. Or you might've had a month that was just an absolute tank and it's not going to look the same. She was kind of saying that she's going to call next year, her transformation year, <laughs> you know, cause it's like, you don't, you know, you don't know, you don't know what you're going to be doing. Like, is it, am I, am I going to be stuck in, in virtual shows or do I want to do all virtual shows now? I, I really am looking forward to going back to cooking shows at some point, but I'm telling you, I like not having to do dishes and totally. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> so, um, it's, it, I never thought I'd say that, but, um, you know, this year forced me into doing that. So think about what you want your business to look like this year. I mean, hopefully this spring, something like that. I mean, I do still have intentions. I have lots of my hosts that would love to go back to doing cooking shows. So I, I do foresee that in my future, but, um, the, the virtual world is not going anywhere. Um, so, you know, just remember, like we said, like the virtual, they're not, we're not closing the doors on anything because we're, we're living in a virtual world. So you're just going to keep wanting to share, share, share. Um, let me see here. So think about that vision that you really want and decide right now what you want from this year. Do you want, I mean, have you never earned a trip and you want to do that? Like make it, I'm deciding right now that I am going somewhere to travel in 2022. I mean, that sounds amazing for me to say 2022. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but it's 2020 was awesome. Yeah, we'll be here before we know it. Yeah. <laughs> Forward, right? So, you know, going back to, to thinking about what is your why? Your why has probably changed 14 times since you started your business. I'm sure Shannon's feeling like that right now. You know, my why has changed again. Hey, I have somebody that's interested in joining my team again. Wow, maybe I really want to kick this back into gear again. <laughs> so what, what, is your, what is your why? And if you have a team, ask your team what their whys are. Mm -hmm. Reach out to them. You know, you can even do it in a Google survey and find out, you know, what's your why for this year? Tell them, you know, and make sure that they know what your goals are. You know, I share with my team what my, my team knows that I'm executive bound now. You know, I just promoted a senior director a month ago and we're, we're executive bound. That's the next thing. That's my next, you know, big goal. And they're very well aware of that. Right, Jen? <laughs> you guys are <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So, but I don't, I don't, it's my it, goals that are a hot mess. Yeah. Well, it's, I don't make it about me though. It's something that's going to benefit right. all of us. So I want to know right. what they want too from their business. And I want oh. them to know that if their, their mind changes at any time on what they want from their business, that they just need to tell me and I'm there for them, you know, absolutely one way or the other, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, if they want to slow down or if they want to pick it up, right. it's your business, you get to do with it what you want. And I will coach you the way you want me to. So. I'm in limbo. If I get into grad school, uh, Kelly, I have no idea what I'm going to do. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing called since share. So, so think about two truths, you know, vision board. That's another thing. I love to do a vision board every year. I've been doing them the last couple of years. I've been doing digital ones. So I just kind of bring it up and stick pictures on and words and things I like. And so think about, you know, um, Think about what you might want to start be put, you know, start putting on a vision board. Um, the other thing too is, is to make yourself a stretch goal. This year, my stretch goal was to get an elite level of the trip. 
and it was a it is it was a stretch. Ninety thousand points to one hundred and fifty thousand points is a lot, a lot. And I mean, the only reason I got that he throws. The only reason I got yeah. that is because of my recruiting. You know, that added three thousand points. I think I had thirty three thousand of my points was in recruiting. So you you know, if that's something you want, if you really want to earn a trip, you know, give yourself a goal of what trip you want to earn, but then give yourself that little bit of a push. Sometimes we just need to give ourselves that push and push and make that make yourself a stretch goal. Get yourself uncomfortable. Get scared. That's what we like to say, you know, is do we do it scared? Um, God, there she's back. We lost Yay! her for a second. My internet. I it's body. It. What do you it's do? Body. You have charter? I do, but whenever I'm on my computer, I should have done this from my phone. Whenever I'm on my computer, I, I it gets unstable, but I can do it on my phone perfectly. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. It's just harder to share my screen on the computer, or you know, on my phone. Anyway, what else did right. you last hear me say? Sure. What did you guys last you hear? You were saying about, so I think you were going to say like, so do I feel like, and you know, can, what, what bucket can be recruiting and then start kind of working those numbers, I think is where you're going, Cal. Okay. So did you hear me say anything about a stretch goal? No. Okay, so that was the next thing I was going to talk about is yes, that's where you can really benefit is is the recruiting points. But then making yourself a stretch goal. Um, I would not have gotten to the elite level this year without recruiting, but that was my stretch goal. Um, I only earned an elite level one other time. I don't even know if they called it that. I think they just called it level three then. Mm -hmm. But um, that was, I mean, when you hear, heard them say 90,000 points and then the elite was 150,000 points, I was like, oh my gosh, no way. But that was, I mean, that was where my recruiting came in. I think 30, I think I had 33 or 36,000 points for just from recruiting. So we'll work on that if you're recruiting and then we'll work with your recruit to help get them qualified. So you get those trip points. That's the big thing is you want to qualify your recruit. So you get those 3000 points. So get uncomfortable, you know, make a stretch goal and just put yourself in an uncomfortable position and kind of do it scared. That's what, you know, I need to like stretch myself sometimes that way. And I mean, even last year when I told our team, the prior year I had said, we're going to have 50 recruits and we had 62 and everybody was nuts. They were like, no way. And then this year I did want a hundred recruits. I said, we're going to be, we're going to just throw it out there. And we're going to do a hundred. And I think we're at 65 right now or 64. So wow. we didn't, we didn't, we're not going to make it, but Hey, we got three more people than we did last year. We pushed and it was a different year and so. it was a different year. It was weird. Just weird. So the other thing is too, the, probably the last big advice that way I want to give you guys is, is find a mentor, maybe find somebody that's where you want to be and, you know, set up a weekly call, a bi-weekly call or something and work with that person. You know, most of us in this business are very willing to share and it is good to have a mentor or an accountability person and keep yourself on your toys, toes. So I think that's probably, um, that's been beneficial to me over the years is having a mentor at, or working with a group. Like I'm in a mastermind group right now. There's three other directors with me and we talk once a week and we come up with ideas and we do trainings together and it's been great. So it just kind of gives you that extra little push and extra little stretch that I, that I need in my business. So, so who has... Who has questions? Anybody? Can you still hear me? <laughs> that was wonderful. Oh, thank yeah, you. we can hear you. Okay. <laughs> Anybody have any questions on how, like the points and stuff, like, does it make all sense to you? I like how they're, it's play, fair, fair playing field. 
everybody has to earn the same amount of points. So it's not like a, you know, national exec is going to be different. They still have to earn those points. So who wants to go where? Or who doesn't want to go on a trip? I mean, that's, <laughs> that's okay too. Anybody? You guys need some caffeine or something. No questions, Kelly. That okay. was awesome. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Very informative. Keep froze. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know. She's oh, back. She's back. <laughs> she's sweet. back. She's gone. She's back. She's gone. We Whoa. were we were we were agreeing with Sarah. you in college. You there, Sarah? Hey, Sarah. Oh, oh my God, God, I'm serious. The joys, oh. the joys of being in the Northwoods. You know, you're like, well, just call in, Sarah. It's like, uh, yeah, there's like no service. <laughs> no, I and I just I just went out two times. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, the last thing I wanted to tell you guys, because this is something else I just wrote down and I just saw it on my list, is don't forget that in marketing imagery, we have the holiday letters, coaching let host coaching letters. So if you just type in letters, I think that's what I typed in. Or a letter. Maybe letters would bring up the numbers in letters pan so type in letter and then those letters will come up and I just kind of adjusted the wording on them a little bit to to kind of make them for more for virtual parties and um don't forget to send out those letters the next couple of weeks it'll just keep people that you have January shows for it'll give them a little cheer in the mail give them a little recipe makes them a you know a reminder so the holiday letters in conjunction with making sure that they have the link to their party now Okay, because you can still get some sales this month and then you'll, you know, that'll double up and you'll get whatever points you earn for December, you'll get the same amount in January plus some. So that I think is huge this year. They used to give us like one month out of the year, they'd give us like double points. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. So those Me were, too. So, yeah, those were nice. So this is kind of like, I think that this is kind of our equivalent right of our double points so but otherwise you guys good yep yes good thank yeah. you yeah. yeah so we went a little bit over but I guess we started kind of late too so but yeah I will post the, I'll, well I'll post it in the Robertson page Laura how about that and then that sounds good can, we can all share it yeah perfect thanks okay. Kelly. you're welcome thank Bye. you Kelly Bye. so you much else. yay you're welcome all right Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, Merry, you Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks.